three. Two Canadians, Ryan Cochran and four, Jeremy Backshule. This is the final of the men's 400 free. So this is very interesting. As many people will know, the swimmers shaved down for a big competition. It started in 1956 by the Australians. And when you get to a big competition, it's your final preparatory thing that you do. You shave all the hair off of your body, including your face, of course. And you will have noticed that Ryan Cochran was not shaved. And the reason for that is he's going to try to win this meet without being totally 100% to a fine line. He's saving that for the World Championship in 14 days in Russia. So he's going to have to work a little bit harder here than he normally would have to work to win this medal. Dealey, Bagshaw, and deduce one, two, three after 50 meters of the men's 400 free. Well, that's Jeremy Bagshaw down in the bottom, and I think he watched the last three heats too, where the early meter was able to come in and have a great performance. So he's going to get into the race early and see if he can hang on to us. Coming to the wall, they'll touch turnover, having completed. 100 meters of the 400 free. The two Canadians sitting one, two, Backshaw and Cochran, followed by the Brazilian Leonardo De Deuce. And Backshaw trains with Cochran when he's at home in Victoria, so these two gentlemen know each other. Backshaw obviously bringing just to the one side at this point in the race, but when he comes back, he'll be able to see Ryan Cochran. Cochran, silver and bronze in the 1500 at the last two Olympics, ninth in the 400 at the last two Olympics in the 400, and fourth in this event of the 2013 World Championships. Cochran and Bagshaw, one, two. And watch out for Deduce. He's a very, very talented Brazilian in lane number five. He's just kind of hanging in the weeds at this point in the race. If he can have the last 200 meters, he can give it a very good shot. As I said, he's kind of new to the 400 meter freestyle, so we don't really know what he's going to be able to do. Ryan Cochran leading the way. In the men's 400 free, they will touch. They are at the halfway point. Cochran followed by his Canadian teammate, Backshaw. The deuce of Brazil is in third. This is a very, very good swing for Ryan Cochran at this point. He looks totally in control. The difficulty is that when you're not totally tapered and shaved, sometimes you're not rested enough and your muscles cave in a little bit towards the end of the race. I don't think that's going to happen. This was the plan they set out with in, in September to do. The passing of his coach hasn't changed that. The new coach, Ryan Millett, said Randy is still in your mind, but we're moving forward. He would have wanted us to go for medals and go for gold. And Ryan Feely of the United States has made a move. The swimmer from Rye, New York, he had a relay goal to his credit here in Toronto. He has now moved into second. Feely making a great move at this particular point. He came off that wall like gangbusters. He's going to be able to give Ryan Cochran a bit of a race. He's now picked up almost the body length in 100 meters. A touch turnover. Less than 100 to go now. Cochran being pursued by Ryan Feely, the U.S. backshaw sitting in third. Ryan Cochran normally has a phenomenal kick in the last bit of a race. As I said, the question is, does he have that or is he still tired from the heavy training he's doing to get ready? He just took a look over to see where Ryan Feely was. They're coming to the wall. Feely and Cochran leading the way. They'll touch, turn over, and have less than 50 meters to go now in the men's 400 break. Cochran just in front of Feely, followed by Batshaw. And this is what Cochran has to do. He has to pick up his cadence. He has to bring in the legs like he does in the, in the races in the 1,500-meter freestyle. I think he might have been playing possum a little on that seventh lane because he looks good at this point. Ryan Cochran of Canada, the favorite coming in, and he's living up to expectations. Ryan Cochran will touch for gold in the men's 400-meter freestyle with a Pan Am record time. Second place to Feely of the United States, and third place to Leonardo De Deuce of Brazil. The time for Cochran, 3.48.29, a Pan Am record. Wow, this is a brilliant strategy for Ryan Cochran. He went out nice and strong. It really basically intimidated the rest of the swimmers. Feely tried to put on a move, but Feely actually moved too hard. He moved so hard to try to get to Cochran that it cost him the last bit. He had nothing left in the tank in the last 25 meters. Ryan was easily able to pull away from him off this wall right here. See how close they are. Ryan takes a quick breath over the side. And now, all of a sudden, Ryan's found another gear, and Feely now is all of a sudden, look at Feely's legs. He's hardly able to kick there. He can't get him going. He put his big move on. It was a great try, but he just didn't have it.
Cochran coming in for the gold medal, setting himself up for a great run in the 1500 meter free tomorrow. Feely barely hangs on for the silver. And at the bottom, Bagshaw, the other Canadian, just gets out touched. Deduce, the Brazilian in lane number five, comes in for the bronze medal. Three guys for the bronze fighting about two tenths of a second apart. Cochran first, then the barely hanging on Feely, and then three guys to the wall within a tenth of a second, and the Brazilian gets third. Ryan Cochran may have been thinking of his coach, Randy Bennett, when he won that gold in the 400 meter freestyle with a Pan Am record time of 348.69. Silver to Ryan Feely of the U.S., bronze to Leonardo Deduce of Brazil, fourth to Michael Clay, and fifth to Jeremy.